one of the more serious infringements upon human rights that has taken place in the United States in the last little while has been the right to access abortion services for women. This is not just simply a matter of whether or not a woman may choose to have a child, which is a right that she also has. The problem is that this is also an integral part of women's health care. And the absolute ignorance of those in the U.S. government that are trying to push this through is simply palp is in in absolutely incredible. I'm, I'm lost for words sometimes. Some of the opponents of the right to access, to, denying the right to access abortion, have asked if women are capable of giving birth to non-human species. Incredible. This is a real question that an actual U.S. lawmaker has made. And the insanity of this, the ridiculous violation of human rights that exists here with this legislation, bordering on something from The Handmaid's Tale, is disgusting. In order to explore this entire issue further, I've gathered together three individuals who wish to speak specifically on the matter of a woman's right to abortion services. Here are those individuals. The overturning of Roe v. Wade is anti-woman bullshit. There are no other cases where you legally have to give your body, money, and housing to a person. Making it worse, this law applies to children. No one can make an argument about consequences to children. You're not going to go up to a little girl and say, Hey kiddo, I'm sorry that guy raped you, but good news, you're going to be a mom. <sighs> this isn't going to affect the lawmakers and their families. Your pathetic boycotts won't do anything. Hey guys, not let's, let's not buy anything for three days. Your half-hearted anger is bullshit. So I've been asked what my opinion is on Roe v. Wade. Well, I can tell you that as of this recording, the right to abortion is being usurped in at least 26 states to my current knowledge, and possibly more. This will end up resulting in many innocent lives being taken at one's own hand or being incarcerated by Christo-fascist states like Texas and Alabama. This is not only a plot to take away abortion access, but it will also result in the impediment of health care overall for those who were assigned women at birth, and in essence, slowly strip away the rights as, as citizens, such as the right to vote. Given that a majority of women voters tend to lean liberal, this is another desperate attempt by the far right to undermine and usurp future bourgeois elections. Furthermore, this won't and hasn't stopped at AFAB healthcare, as states like Texas have proven where they are proposing and will likely succeed in bringing back sodomy laws, completely gutting the rights for LGBTQ plus people. Other states have, or are planning on passing, legislation to out gay and trans people opening up job discrimination and termination based on their identity or orientation. This also up opens up more doors for discrimination in healthcare and the rights of loved ones being unable to see their partners in the hospital or being denied bereavement benefits. We've also seen gay and trans children ripped away from loving and accepting homes to be placed in homes with traditional moral values, leaving them at the mercy of the system which is rife with abuse. In a similar fashion, we see rulings targeting native sovereignty, including the very real possibility of native children being stripped from their homes and placed with white families. We have seen acts of violence against opposition protesters, the demonization of those with disabilities, such as those of us with autism, and calls for literal witch hunts against those who practice alternative beliefs. The Roe v. Wade ruling isn't just an attack on those with uteruses. It is an attack on all people who are not cisgender, heteronormative, white Christian men with traditional beliefs. Simply put, this ruling is Christo-fascism in action. It is the result of 
capitalism and right-wing extremism being allowed to run rampant for decades. It hasn't stopped, and it is, it is only going to continue to snowball unless people actually physically stand up and do something about, about it. Voting hasn't worked. It never has, and it never will. And if we can pay any heedance to history's warnings, the only way to stop this is through direct action. This war against the freedom of bodily autonomy extends much deeper, and the far right know that, and they are actively proud of it. I can quote one individual who was harassed by one of these individuals not more than a few weeks ago who told them, I can't wait until it's legal to hunt you people down. They are already treating this as a victory and as a green light to begin prepping for an American holocaust. The choice is now up to us. Do we stand by and do nothing as they come for your friends and family, your neighbors, and eventually you? Or do we stand up and say, enough is enough? I'm, uh with uh, Comrade Luna of PSFM uh, talking about the overturning of Roe versus Wade, which she is very much against. If I, that, at least that's what you told me. Yes, very much against it. Oh, uh, yes. Uh, would, you, would you like to explain why you're against it? Men shouldn't be making opinions or laws about women's bodies. Um, I just think that it just opened a whole other door full of problems. Uh, who's going to be taking care of these dead kids when the moms don't want it? They can't abort the babies. Abortion probably happens more often than we think, and now that it's against the law, you're going to see them all over the place. You're going to act like, oh, why are all these women getting abortions? Like, these weren't popular before. That's because no one said anything before. Not every woman's going to go out there and be like, yeah, I had to abort my baby because I couldn't afford it or because I didn't want it. It was with a random guy. The condom broke, or I didn't anticipate it. I didn't have money for a plan B the next day. You know, stupid shit like that. But it still, it opens the problem. Who's going to be taking care of these kids? I know for damn well, a dad isn't going to do it. The one night stand ain't going to do it. Uh, are they going to be paying for all of the fucking, what is it, supplement stuff? Like, what is it for the babies? Um, but the, the formula, uh, yeah, you yeah, know, WIC or whatever, yeah, like is, is that gonna be like free to them? Are they gonna have more options? Are they gonna help support these said kids that they said that were underpopulated? That this is why they're doing it. Are we really though? No, because everything on the shelf is so scarce. Why would they do that? It makes no sense. I don't know what else I'm supposed to be like ranting about. Well, that, that, that pretty much covers it. Uh, um, covers it. Thank you, Comrade Luna. Oh, for, for... I can keep going, but that's a good highlight of it to touch off <laughs> most of the bases. That really bothers me. Especially that, what is it? One old lady was on the board apparently during this whole ruling aspect, but she probably went through menopause. She's probably like, well, I don't have to worry about it. A room full of men should not have to decide what women get to do with their bodies. Do, do you want to keep going, perhaps, or do you think that covers it? I think that covers it. All right. Thank you, Comrade Luna. You're welcome. We can see very clearly that there are strong opinions against this. In fact, the data, public polling, shows that the majority of the U.S. public believes in the right to access abortions, and that, that should be a right that women have. The desire to take this away is a violation of human rights. This is the same government that treats prisoners in a manner so horrible, it actually would not let UN inspectors come in to inspect prisons in the United States, known for having some of the most worst prisons in the entire world and the largest prison population, period, whether that be per capita or even in overall numbers. There is no basis by which the United States, particularly the United States government, can claim that they are any champions of freedom and democracy, so long as they violate the very basic and fundamental freedoms of its own citizens. Every woman should be free to choose. And that's exactly what this is about. This is not about being pro-abortion. This is not about killing 
fetuses and cells. This is about a woman's right to choose what kind of life she is facing. And if you don't have that kind of right, what rights do you really have? And doesn't this violate much of the very basis of what America is supposed to be? The right to freedom, liber rights, liberty, f freedom, happiness, and all that. Unless, of course, you happen to be a woman. <laughs>